What's up Planet Roller Skaters? It's DJ Matt Jones here and today we are in St. Louis with Chad from Skate Life TV. Nice to meet you guys. for right. doing this with absolutely, me. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm really happy to be here and you know this episode is going to be all about you. We're going to be talking about the man behind the channel, behind the videos that have okay. been blowing up. I'm a big fan. <laughs> I mean I've been watching your videos for a minute. I've been subscribed for a while. Okay. And so it's really exciting to finally get to do this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, I've been ready for this. We talked about this. Yeah, we were talking ago. about this for a minute oh, and yeah. so like when I was planning my road trip to New York City I was like St. Louis Yes. <laughs> What's up? I'm so glad you were in town because I know you're all over the place oh, for yeah. skate events. Oh yeah. I see you dedicated. I'm glad you came though. I'm yeah, glad, glad yeah. We finally got a chance to meet up. So. Me too. Well, I have some questions for you, so I'm just gonna hop behind the camera and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about skating. Let's do it. Awesome. I am Chad High. I am the creator and the founder of Skate Life Co. and Skate Life TV. I am from right here in beautiful St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, you can find me online on Instagram at Skate Life, that's S-K-A-T-E-L-Y-F-E underscore TV or underscore C-O. Also the same on Facebook and YouTube. So basically I started skating when I was six years old. I'm 35 now. Uh, my mom took me to a birthday party. I fell a bunch of times, but I got back up and I loved it. So I've been doing it ever since. I'm an indoor skating ring person. I can do both. I can skate indoors, I can skate outdoors, but mainly I skate indoors. I always wear indoor wheels. Because it gets cold in the wintertime and it gets really hot and humid in the summertime. So uh, I like to be indoors where, the, where it's controlled climate. It get a little bit darker in the sunny times. So. I go to Skate King uh, in St. Louis, Missouri, or I travel across the bridge to East St. Louis to Skate City. Um, those are the two rinks I mainly skate at when I'm here in St. Louis now. We do have the smoothest roller skaters in the world. Uh, if, you, if you skate on bad floors or stuff like that for so long and you, and you master to learn how to get smooth on it, you can pretty much skate on anything. So, uh, Chicago, you have JB uh, style of skating. Uh, Atlanta has their own style. You have uh, East, the East Coast, New York, New Jersey. They have their own style. West Coast has their own style. Ohio, you have uh, sliders, gliders, some of everything there, striders. Uh, <laughs> it's just something that you have to view. So a lot of uh, Chicago style skaters, they do a lot more uh, step stepping. So you know, like Chicago's pretty known for like sliding and stepping. So they put a lot more of that into their routines. Um, and then uh, like on East Coast, they might do a lot more dancing. So a lot more uh, rhythm skating. So you'll see them more so dancing on skates. Three years ago, uh, somebody had took a cell phone video of me roller skating, uh, posted it on social media and it got like 7,000 views. And I kind of just thought to myself, if I can get 7,000 views, what if I were to show off all these other skaters that I skate around that are way better than me, that can do way more stuff. And from there, I actually started filming on my cell phone. I just started, uh, going out filming skaters randomly and I started posting it and then it started catching on and then I bought a camera and I got more serious about it so that was kind of how it happened. Actually one of my mentors, uh, Doug Mike, uh, he, his page goes by Skate Viz, that's S-K-8-V-I-D, uh, two Z's, um, but he has been doing it for years and I watched and I watched him do it and I was just like he does it all across as well and I was just doing it in St. Louis so now we kind of like partner up it's pretty cool now because the guy that I watched coming up now, you know what I'm saying, we partner up and we work together and stuff, so it's pretty cool now. So what led me to start uh, doing the YouTube channel is I've always heard about YouTube, that you can monetize it and things like that. Uh, when I first started, I was just filming and doing one minute videos and you know, when I was posting on YouTube, it wasn't doing so well. Uh, I just started watching a lot more YouTube. I watched, uh, I watched playing a roller skate, you know, I watched, uh, there's another young guy that uh, has another page, JB Skate Chicago, Malik Thomas. Um, I was kind of just watching their pages and they kind of gave me some ideas. And with those, I can be a little bit more creative, put some more different edits in them, and I can make money off of them. So I was like, let's do it. So I started learning and uh, that's where I'm at now. I'm still learning in the process on what I'm doing. So just keep getting better. I'm trying. <laughs> Well, I'm a true believer in doing what you love to do day in and day out. If you're... Oh, cool. <laughs> do you skate too? Yeah. I need to get my Shazam back. Alright, bro. Bye, nice to meet you. Yeah. 
Take it easy. Well, I'm a true believer in doing what you love to do day in and day out. If you can make money doing what you love to do day in and day out, why wouldn't you do that as opposed to doing something that you don't love to do day in and day out? Might as well do what you love to do, get paid for it, and enjoy your life. So are you doing this full time now? Or yes. Do you... I've been doing this full time since day one. I wasn't always making money. But, uh, <laughs> but you're committed. You're exactly, committed. Yeah. yeah. I would describe my channel as an, as an as art. I believe that roller skating, all roller skating is art. Uh, I believe that a lot of it's God given, the talent that a lot of these skaters are given and what they're able to do in front of a camera um, is a lot of stuff that I see, even me filming a lot of skaters is amazing. Just that they're able to do something and I'm thinking to myself, I know I can't do, do that. So. <laughs> Uh, so what my process on it is, um, so I, you know, I go out and film the skaters and the way that I film, a lot of it has to do with the music that I'm hearing in the skating ring. Uh, when I'm filming, if it's a song that I like, if I know the beat and the repetition of the beat and everything like that, I can adjust my filming style to the beat of the song, which is why you kind of see the videos at the, the way that they are, because I'm in rhythm shooting the skater in rhythm skating. So that's why I look at it as art in that form. When you're a skater and you're filming other skaters and you're passionate about it, it comes out in your work. Um, as opposed to someone that doesn't skate, that doesn't really know about the culture, you know, going out and skate. So it just, it, it's, it's a different type of vibe, it's a different type of feel. So what do you like most about being the man behind the camera? Uh, I like the freedom. Uh, I like being able to travel to different places, see different places, meet different people. I love to film people. I love roller skating with, with all my heart and soul. So. I think the most exciting part for me is when I get done filming, when I get home and I get to watch all these videos of the skaters and edit all this stuff, it, it's pretty exciting for me, so, yeah. Some of the challenges that I encounter while filming are really dodging skaters, uh, people dodging me, uh, people that don't know how to skate, people, uh, <laughs> uh, it, it, the hardest part is trying to look at my camera, trying to look at my monitor while also trying to look on the side of me, to the left of me and behind me, making sure no one runs into me, so. Yeah, that's the hardest part. Uh, some of my favorite places to travel to right now are Atlanta, love Atlanta. I've been to Dallas once, but when I went, I loved it, even Houston. Those have really been some of my favorite places to go as far as with skating. I'm traveling almost every weekend now. So people can hit you up, be like, I'm with my rink, what's up? They can, I'm probably gonna be like, hey, can you give me a hotel room with a spa? No, hey, no, 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 this is your chance to <laughs> Hey, yeah, right you know, I love to come out to your rink and film, man. Uh, you know, a lot of times I just, uh, you know, just require somewhere to stay um, and food, feed me. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really charge unless you want me to do some extensive promoting or something like that. Then we can talk figures and numbers. But you know, a lot of times I just do it for the love of the culture. I love what I do. I love skaters and I love to see skaters prosper. Well, my favorite big event is an event that I haven't even been to yet, which is, uh, which is Joy Skatathon in Atlanta. I'll be going there next year because uh, COVID killed me this year. But um, my, one of my, my main my favorite event is the event here in St. Louis, Skills on Wheels. Um, we have it yearly. It's the longest running uh, national skate party in the country. Skating and coming here and being able to do everything that you do out of town in your hometown around your people, you know, that it, it's always a good feeling to do it in your hometown and to show love to the people who come into town and skate with you. So what does the roller skate community mean to you? Now we're getting into the good questions here. Okay. <laughs> uh, the roller skating community means everything because without the roller skating community, there would be no skate life. There would be no skate life code. There would be no skate life TV. So I'm just grateful for every skater that has and that will grace my camera now and in the future. So why is it important for the black community to have spaces like a roller rink? Um, because honestly, uh, black people, we deal with a lot of mental health issues. We deal with a lot of different things. So having that positive outlet to be able to go out and relieve a lot of that stress and that tension that we deal with on a daily basis with watching the news with police shootings and, and, and watching all these things that are going on in the world. It's good to have just that positive outlet where you can come with your people and it doesn't have to be about anything but skating. Um, so what, so like roller skating has exploded over mm -hmm. the summer, like absolutely exploded. What would you say to the community about it? Um, I actually enjoy watching the new skaters come out and get a lot of publicity, the outdoor skaters. I think what a lot of times the skaters that are indoor skaters that are kind of upset about what's going on don't understand is a lot of these people that are outdoor skating, they don't have a rink at home that they can go to and skate. So they have no choice but to go out and skate outside. A lot of the reason why they're getting 
a lot more views is because they have a lot more scenery behind them rather than just being in a skating rink. So their videos are getting a lot more views. You may be smoother than another, you know, than another skater or whatnot, but the advice that I would give to somebody that wants to do social media is be honest about it um, and be, you gotta be dedicated. Um, with me, I was getting up daily, posting four to five videos a day. I was getting up every morning. First thing I'm doing is editing videos to post that day, to post tomorrow, to post the day after that. Get as much content as you can, content is king, and just keep posting. And uh, make sure that you know that you're posting under relevant hashtags. Uh, make sure that you're posting, um, you're, you're tagging people that are relevant, like maybe the song that's playing in the background, make sure you're tagging the artist. Tag Skate Life TV. <laughs> hey, you tag me, it, you know. You should <laughs> tag Skate Life TV because it is related to skating, right? Yeah. So yeah, tagging Skate Life TV, hashtag Skate Life TV, hashtag Skate Out of Quarantine, any of those. Um, anything related to skating, tag it. So I do think that it's important for uh, new skaters to understand the cultural history because you want to know what you're getting into it for, you know, we want, and even the skaters that have been around for a long time, we want to know that you're passionate about it, so we want you to know your history. Um, there are a lot of skaters that are in here that are into skating for the wrong reasons, whether it be for the women, whether it be for fame, clout, whatever you want it to be, they're not really in it because they love skating, which is what this is about. Do you want to tell us a bit about the history of skating, like why it's so important? Uh, yeah. Um, so skating is uh, very important just because it was one of the first uh, places where hip hop was birthed. Uh, you know, back when hip hop was formed, uh, rap and everything, there were no arenas, it wasn't popular, it didn't have the backing that it does today. So a lot of those uh, rappers that started, they started in skating rinks having concerts. If you've ever watched um, United, the United States documentary which aired on HBO, it'll explain a little bit more in detail and you can hear about a lot of that information from the artist's mouth. Um, a lot of it also, uh, what it came to was when it was a lot of gang violence in neighborhoods, that would be a safe haven where uh, rival gangs could come together and it would be a peaceful spot for everybody to enjoy and have a good time. So um, for as far as for what skating meant for the community, it meant peace. Um, you know, I know so many different people who even skate now who came up from very rough backgrounds who survived life due to skating, keeping in the skating ring rather than being out doing something that they knew that they had no business doing or that they didn't need to do in order to survive. So skating has meant a lot to a lot of different people and it has saved countless lives. Do you feel it's important for people to document their own experiences from their perspective now? And I why? do. I say vlog every every time you go skating, vlog it. Just because I, I would say this, and I, and I don't say this out of arrogance, but um, there's never been a, a, a network that showcases skating in the way that, I, I, that at least I try to. I get up every, every day uh, day and night breathe roller skating and that's my life day in and day out um, so I put a lot of effort into creating uh, integrating an audience and a network that we can all thrive from because a lot of times people didn't even know roller skating still existed or that it was still popular and this has been going on for and they say it ended in disco no we've been having indoor roller skating party for years where it was 4,000 it was 4,000 5,000 people packed in a skating rink but it never got you know you all never seen it you know because it was never anything a, a channel out there or anything where you could watch it which is what I'm aiming to do uh, now with Skate Life TV. What do you think um, your perspective from being within the community is able to offer to your videos? Kind of different um, I think that I think that what it does offer is comfortability for the skaters because I'm one of those people where I'm easy going I'm one of the people that all the skaters can come and talk to I don't come in thinking I'm better than anybody else. I'm a regular skater just like you. I just happen to be good with the camera. Um, and that's the kind of attitude that I take when I walk in as opposed to someone who's an outsider that may come in and just be like, I don't know any of these people. I'm just gonna film, get paid, whatever I'm getting paid. I actually put passion into what I'm doing, which makes a difference. And you can tell when you're filming that the skaters are like really showing off for you. Guys. I like literally, I just found out uh, yesterday talking to a friend of mine, Solo from Atlanta, uh, that when I was in Jacksonville last month that when I walked into the skating rink there for a party all the people were like oh I gotta go put makeup on skate like TV is here I can't look bad and like now I just saw a post on Facebook that said I'm going to Cleveland tomorrow and says uh, Chad Hyde uh, and somebody else that's going with me like uh, they've got people up here practicing routines for the past week but like I say I'm, I'm just humbled by it all uh, just because like I say I'm just doing what I love to do day in and day out. I love the culture. I love what I do. So it doesn't even feel like work. Um, it can be overwhelming at times, but 
like I say, I, I, I wouldn't choose to be doing anything else but what I'm doing. Well, for those of you that don't normally come to the skating rinks, if you're just an outdoor roller skater, well, most of the people that skate indoors, we love when people that don't normally come to the skating rink come to skate and they really want to learn because we love to teach. A lot of us, you know, you can just come to a skating rink and you can see a routine. You can go up and ask somebody, well, how do you guys do that? I love what you do. And there is a person right there that'll show you on the spot in the middle of the session while you're there. You just got to come out. You know, don't be afraid because literally every time we're skating, it's a party. Yeah, we're having a good time. It's a family atmosphere. Um, so it's nothing that you literally nothing that you have to worry about. I know that a lot of people may watch and they're like, oh, my God, these are pro skaters. I'm going to end up, you know, embarrassing myself, falling or something. It's not like that. You know, there's people out here. Yes, we are pro skaters. But if you come out, don't be afraid to ask someone to show you something because you, you can really come out of that session learning a lot of new things that you can add to your arsenal of skate tricks. What are your plans for the future of your channel? Any big dreams? Um, my big dream is to own a network one day. Um, and, it, and you know, like I do, I do roller skating, but like skate life, it can extend to all things skating. Um, ice skating, skateboarding, you know. I, I, I think of everything just all together. Um, but right now, I wanna, I wanna see uh, roller skating in the Olympics. I wanna, I've got some goals that I'm uh, trying to set up. Uh, I wanna direct a few movies if I can and uh, do a few different things, so yeah. So how can we support your work? Uh, you can support my work. Uh, I sell merchandise on my website, skatelifeco.com. You can subscribe to my channels. I also accept donations. Uh, you can donate on my website, actually. There is a donation link, um, and I'll give it to you to put in the description below. Um, always taking that. Um, and just keep watching. The best way to support is keep watching, just sharing the videos, um, making sure that everybody knows about uh, Skate Life TV. So, right, so how can we find you again? Uh, well, you can find me on my Instagram at skate life s-k-a-t-e-l-y-f-e -E underscore tv and underscore c-o on facebook it is skate life tv and also on youtube skate life tv and my website is www.skatelifeco.com oh my gosh that was so great was it that was a really good interview thank really? you so much oh, yeah you're be sure to like comment subscribe we're gonna link all of everything in the caption so that you can go support watch participate skate life tv and yeah, I guess until next time, later skaters. Peace out. And go up to the sky. Thank mm -hmm. you.